my friends. Today we're going to be reading a book called Watch Doug from Up. Doug bounded over some rocks, scrambled up the hill, and across a little stream. The golden retriever was looking for a spot to camp for the night. Following him were his friends Carl and Russell. Doug had met them in South America when Carl and Russell were on an adventure. Now they're having another adventure, a camp out. Around his neck, Doug wore a high-tech collar that helped him speak to humans. Find the spot, find the spot, he chanted aloud. Suddenly, Doug saw a good place. Point, he shouted. He froze and pointed towards the clearing ahead. It had trees on three sides and a beautiful view across the valley. Carl pulled down Carl put down their picnic basket. Next to it, he placed a jug of lemonade. Okay, Russell, let's see those tents of yours, he said. The day had been full of new sights and sounds. Carl, Russell, and Doug had hiked along a trail and climbed to a beautiful overlook. But now the day was over and the sun was setting. Carl and Russell put up the tents and unrolled their sleeping bags. They looked, they cooked dinner over the campfire and afterwards they roasted marshmallows. Soon Russell began to yawn. It was bedtime. His eyes half closed. Russell started to walk towards the tent. Hey, look at this, Russell shouted. On the ground just past the campfire was a trail of paw prints. I wonder what kind of animal made these? Carl said, looking at the tracks. I'll check my wilderness explorer manual, Russell said. But Carl shook his head. Bedtime, he instructed. I'll keep watch. All night, Doug exclaimed. Doug was proud to have such an important job. He was going to be a super watchdog. While Carl and Russell went to bed, Doug sat outside the tents still as a statue. But wait, what was that by the oak tree? A squirrel. Doug charged towards the tree and tripped over a rope on Russell's tent. Part of the tent collapsed. Doug hung his head. He didn't mean for that to happen. Doug slunk back at, to his watch post. He made one mistake, but that happened to any watchdog. Suddenly, a bat swooped over the clearing Doug jumped up in surprise. He accidentally knocked over the jug of lemonade behind him and spilled it on the ground. Embarrassed, Doug went to stand guard near, Car near Carl's tent. Doug watched the moon travel across the sky. Russell, Russell, Russell. What's that noise? Doug snuck across the clearing, keeping low to the ground. He spotted fresh prints in the dirt. He saw a shadow near a tree. Something was prowling. Now it was rummaging. Woof, woof, woof. Doug barked. The intruder turned towards him. It was a raccoon, and it was trying to get their food. Move away from the basket, Doug said. That's our breakfast. The raccoon grabbed a string of sausage in his teeth. Doug took the other end and tugged. The raccoon tugged. Doug tugged harder. Finally, the raccoon let go. Doug had won. Defeated, the raccoon scampered away. Doug triumphantly carried the sausages back to the picnic basket. They were a little roughed up and dirty. A couple of leaves were stuck to the slobbery spots, but he was sure Carl and Russell wouldn't mind. Doug was proud of himself. He spotted the intruder in the dark and scared it away. He even saved breakfast. He felt like a top watchdog. Soon the, star, the sky started to light and the stars began to fade. Doug was very sleepy. His eyes felt so heavy. His paws felt so heavy. His ears and his nose and tail were so heavy too. But he couldn't give up standing guard now. It was almost morning. Doug put his head down on his paws. He would just rest for a minute and then go back to keeping watch. Resting his head felt nice. Maybe he should rest his eyes for a minute too. It was getting harder and harder to keep them open. Honk shoo, honk shoo. 
Doug fell asleep. A few minutes later, Carl came out of his tent. He was no longer asleep. He no longer slept as much as he used to. Carl looked around the clearing. He noticed Russell's tent and heard the boys still snoring. He saw the dirty sausage sticking out of the picnic basket and the jug of lemonade on its side. Carl sat next to Doug. Doug opened one eye. I found him. I found the creature that made the paw prints, he said. Yes, I heard you, Carl said. He gave Doug a pat on the head. Good dog, good dog. Together, Doug and Carl watched the sun rise over the misty valley. I hope you enjoyed hearing about Doug's biting a raccoon over sausage. Have a great day. Bye.